things about coming to a baseball game and watching the Mariners play is the food. And this goes way past hot dogs and beer. Joining me now is executive chef Javier Rosa. Oh my gosh, I'm getting delirious from the smell of this smoked meat. Do you smoke this in house? Trust me, I smoke it. I mean, I smell it because the smoke is right here. You and smoke then, it right over here? I mean, right now we got two big smokers. We're smoking pretty much like a 1,400 pounds of meat per game. 1,400 uh, pounds of meat per game? We are, I only have a sample of the meat that we do here, but we do pretty much all the smoked meat in the stadium that we do here in-house. That means that uh, it's a lot of meat that we're going through for the game, I'm telling you. Okay, so this all looks delicious. This is ribs right here, right? I mean, this is like a prehistoric ribs. I think like Fred Flintstone ate this. This is the whole idea for the people just to walk around and then just, just grab it, eat it, and the people will see around the, the other person, the other person asks, where you buy that one? Because I need to get one of those. And that's what we have here. People love it. And I'm telling you, we smoked that one for almost 18 hours. And the flavor is just like, uh, just breaking your hands, just like so great in your mouth. It's amazing. Ooh, and what is this, a pork This pork? is the pork. I mean, we have all the pork shoulder. Mm -hmm. This is the item that we use pretty much in all the stadium. We use the pork shoulder. Ooh. I mean, we just, uh, we cook it for almost 14 hours. We smoke it, we break it down, and we use that one in every place that we have smoked pork. That's the pork that we use in house. Okay, that is beautiful. It's nice to see how gorgeous that comes out. I want to just, do you have a fork? Can I just type I, in? I got one here. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready for you. I Look mean, at this. I'm telling you, you need it just I mean, like that. I let's, love it. Let's break on it. I'm telling you. The other one is the uh, brisket. This is the, my favorite. This is, I will steal this whole thing. I am telling you, this one we smoke around 16 hours. It, that, that one takes the longest that we smoke, but the flavors are amazing on that one as well. Oh my gosh, that looks beautiful. Brisket is my favorite. I do love pork. So you said that you use the pork or the brisket and everything here. What, what is this? Is this uh, like a, a quesadilla? Well, like I told you, we use all the smoke items in different mm -hmm. places in the stadium. That the brisket, we use it for the quesadillas. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the, that one in Edgar's Cantina. That was the one in the corner over okay. here. That's our Mexican concept. And we decided to do something with brisket and the quesadilla. Mm -hmm. The sauce is a pico de gallo with some pineapple to give you some refreshness in the sauce. The barbecue sauce is made house made and you have some avocado crema to go with the quesadillas. Uh, the brisket as well is done in the holy barbecue stand. Mm -hmm. And we do that one with a little platter with brisket, mac and cheese, coslo and cornbread Ooh, to die for. I'm, that Trust is me. what I'm here for. I it's, will stand in line for two hours for that. Trust me, people will wait, but we try to go fast and we offer the best product that we can. I love it. All right, so what is this here? Well, this one is another one. The stadium has a lot of nachos around, mm -hmm. but we decided to do something different. Yeah. Instead of doing Mexican nachos, we do kind of like a barbecue loaded chips. And that's what you got here. Here you got the loaded chips and you okay. got some of the pork that we have here. We smoke the pork, we have the loaded nachos. We got cilantro crema, we got barbecue sauce, we got some green onions and queso blanco sauce which is like when you buy everything together, it's just amazing. Ah, it's just a nice flavor. I love that. I've never, I've actually never had a nacho with kind of a potato it's chip just, like that. It's just a twist. We make okay. it more like a barbecue nacho. I what love about that. that. No? What is that? That is amazing and looks messy, but I'm all here for it. It's all about being messy. You know what I mean? It's, that's <laughs> our barbecue pork sandwich. I mean, that's another one that we use the pork as well. That one is in the holy barbecue uh, stand. And we have that one with a nice coslo. We have the barbecue sauce and we have a little bit of like, uh, barbecue sauce on it and the bread is like a French bread roll and when you bite on that all the flavor just come together it's just amazing okay so when you do that you should get some extra napkins and tuck it in your fancy jersey so that you don't make a mess of we, your nice we, jersey. we offer that we offer that I mean we want the people just to enjoy the food I mean but we make a lot of great flavors and we want the people to really enjoy it I that, think you should thing. I mean forget about what you're wearing maybe we should get like Mariner's bibs that would be a great idea. How we can sell it? Too, I, I, you mean? could sell that. <laughs> Speaking of new things to sell, is that an aluminum cup over there? And that with that. Uh that's our new aluminum cup, exactly as a recycled cup in the way we are helping the environment to be recycled. Oh. And this is the whole stadium is all about. It's about recycle the food, make, make sure that everything goes to the wall thing. I mean, helping the environment in many ways that we can. I love that sustainability concept. Absolutely. I love how and it's nice too. I would keep that in my in my house for a long time. And I'm telling you, those are some of the drinks, new drinks that we have for concert this year. Mm -hmm. And we're offering these in different stands, like the Tito's by the Bullpen, Trident Deck. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a few stands that we offer in the new drinks. We uh, participate with uh, Scottish Drink right now. Oh. And they have a nice concept of the juices that they don't use that much sugar and they're more healthier. And then we have a whole connection with the Tito's Vodka and Scottish juices I to make up amazing drinks. So that's some of them. That I had have. the majority 
Magenta Mojo. That was that too good. I had to really stop good. drinking that immediately because I haven't been eating. That was early for you, right? And it's a little bit early <laughs> for that. Um, by, finally, before I let you go, after eating all this food, I hear that soda refills has also changed. That's amazing. I'm telling you, you buy your soda, and the machines right now, they're facing you. You don't even have to ask for a refill. So you can just get as much soda as you want. There are machines everywhere right now. You get your soda, you get souvenir soda, and then you get soda everywhere through oh. the whole game. I love it, especially because you're going to be eating so much. That's a great price for that, right? I love it. I am so excited to try all of these things, I and I'm just it. delighted that you took it up a level. Forget the hot dogs when you got hey. a prehistoric rib to chew on, right? We still have the hot dogs, but we are elevating the food to something like that now. I love it. Well, that's good to know. Thank you so much, Chef. Thank this you for having me here. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you for having me here. And I'll be trying your food. Absolutely. Let's go for it. <laughs>